I'm finally giving you guys the video that you've all been asking for. Today, we're gonna to be benchmarking the Athlon 200GE with the top three dedicated GPUs that you guys requested. I'm sorry for the delay. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're gonna to be benchmarking the budget Athlon 200GE with three of the most popular dedicated GPUs that you guys requested. And if you're new here and you wanna see more benchmarking or PC building videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell, that way you never miss an episode, but yeah. Let's start benchmarking. So the three graphics cards that we have here today are the RX 580, GTX 1050 Ti, and the GTX 1060. Now I'm not necessarily saying that these are the three best GPUs for a budget CPU like the 200GE. These are just the ones that I've seen the most requested from you guys. In case you haven't seen my dedicated video on the Athlon 200GE, I would highly recommend you do by the way. This is a two core, four threaded, 3.2 gigahertz processor. That's a great AM4 entry point for you budget gamers. One of the main points that I covered in that video is that the Athlon Tuner GE is perfect for those of you that are putting together an AM4 based build right now but want to save some money on the processor before you buy something more powerful like a Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 7. The Tuner GE allows you to buy your motherboard and your RAM now, save a little bit of money on the processor for the time being, and then you don't have to worry about these parts becoming obsolete when you do upgrade. With that being said, it may just be a good idea to buy your entire system now including the graphics card, so that's why we're testing the Tuner GE today with some dedicated graphics cards that you'll eventually pair with your upgraded Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 7. For today's testing, I tested these GPUs out with parts that I actually think you would buy if you were putting together a system like this. The motherboard is a pretty budget ASRock B450. The RAM is a 16 gigabyte DDR4 kit clocked at 2,933 megahertz. And the power supply is a very cheap EVGA 500 watt unit. And finally, before getting into the actual benchmarks, I decided for this video, I'm gonna keep the settings for every game the exact same. That way you can compare each GPU side by side and we can also see if anything got bottlenecked. So after seeing those results, we got some pretty good data that shows that the 200GE isn't really bottlenecking mid to high end cards like the RX 580 or the GTX 1060. The results scale pretty well, at least for GPU dependent titles. The results we got in something more CPU dependent like PUBG do indicate that we may have been bottlenecked there, but that game is still terribly unoptimized either way. Well, that wraps up my Athlon 200GE benchmarking video with some dedicated graphics cards. As always, drop a comment down below if you wanna see more graphics cards benchmarked with the 200 GE. Now feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet and definitely hit the subscribe button because next week I'm throwing a pretty baller build guide video to you guys. You don't want to miss that video.